It's live from last week, episode 44. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow Jaywalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. Just want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So today we were at Blue Mountain Resort in Collingwood, Ontario, making use of a pass that I bought last week. So if you guys are ready to check out what kind of activities we're up to today, check out this video. So guys, I'm just gonna apologize in advance. Mainly because after we went to Blue Mountain and caught this scenic video of a silhouette of the windmills up north, we got to Mississauga and I just passed out. Meaning I'm behind on a couple of birthday greetings that I was gonna do yesterday. So here I go on my belated birthday greetings for you guys today. First, I want to wish a happy belated birthday greeting to Jason. Happy birthday, Jason. I'm remembering working with you long time ago and only reuniting with you at the holiday parties where you're spinning the ones and twos with your brother. Anyway, Jason, hope you're doing well and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday yesterday. Next birthday greeting I have is for John John. Happy birthday, John John. I'm remembering our times back when we were at Ryerson and meeting you at one of the Ryerson student groups over there and also watching on TV and seeing you randomly appear on a game show. Anyways, John John, hope you're doing well and I'm hoping that you also had a great birthday this year. Next birthday greeting I have is for one of my old YSIC friends, Anita. Happy birthday, Anita. I'm remembering times hanging out with you back when I was living downtown, as well as seeing you at steamer parties back in the day. Anyways, Anita, hope you're doing well, and I'm hoping that you also celebrate your birthday well this year. And for the next birthday greeting I have is for a family friend of ours, May. Happy birthday, May. I'm remembering the times partying with you back in the day. To now, seeing your posts on travel and your little one, who's also grown up way too fast. Anyways, May, hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe and healthy at this time. And I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. And finally, I have a happy belated birthday greeting to a couple of friends of mine from Ryerson. And this one goes out to Laura and Victoria. Happy belated birthday, guys. I'm remembering times going to class with you guys and hanging out with you back in university. As well as you guys introducing me to that one club, the Dance Cave. Those were good times. Anyways, I hope you two are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you guys also celebrated your birthday well. And last but not least, I have a birthday greeting to one of my friends from childhood, whose birthday is not a belated one, but it actually is today. And this one goes out to you, Steph. Happy birthday, Steph. I'm remembering the times back then going to Mother Teresa with you, taking the school bus together and having classes when we were younger, and you excelling in both sports and basketball and soccer, Anyway, Steph, it's been a long while. Hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy, and I hope that you had a happy birthday as well. But yeah, before I forget to mention what I did today, basically woke up at 7 a.m. in Saga, edited live from last week videos from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m., then drove over one hour in rush hour traffic to get back home in Scarborough to check out and unravel the fiancé's brand new knife set, and to get ready for the first shift of a stretch of three night shifts tonight. So wish me luck for a nice smooth and steady shift tonight and I'll just see you guys tomorrow. So last night while I was at work, my beloved Toronto Raptors kicked off their 2021-2022 season. And it will be exciting to track their progress and see how well they do. 
Anyhow, earlier this afternoon, I received a message from one of my longtime childhood friends who said that she dug out this treasure of a picture while cleaning out her storage. A great throwback to when we were both in early high school. And just a side note, funny thing is, I still am wearing that same hat to this day that I wore in that picture. Anyways, Jolene, thank you so much for digging out that treasure and bringing up some great memories of our hangouts in the past. But yeah, guys, before I go in for my second of my three night shifts tonight, we just have a birthday greeting for one of my F-car friends, Patrick. Happy birthday, Patrick. I'm remembering back in the day how you would always perform, doing spoken word in front of the crowds, as well as being a motivational speaker for others. Anyways, Patrick, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Hope you're keeping up with the motivational speaking, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. So this morning, post night shift, after Uber driving my coworker Josie to a local plaza, mainly because she wanted to pick up something before she took her post night shift nap, I got home, looked outside the window, and saw that it kind of looked like I stranded her out in the cold there. So I decided to quickly get to the kitchen, heat up the stove, and make her a delicious cheese omelette and some toast for breakfast this morning. Then I decided to hand deliver it to her while she waited for the stores to open. All right, let's see if Josie will accept my breakfast that I made for her this morning. <laughs> and she greatly appreciated the gesture. But yeah, after I took my post night shift nap, my Ate Shah inquired to see if I can find an astronaut costume for her son for this year's Halloween. So I decided to check out the locker, rearrange stuff a little bit, and although it took me over 15 minutes to find it, we were able to break out the astronaut costume. Ooh, let's see what's in this box. Boom! I got your astronaut costume here. But anyways, before I go in for my third of my three night shifts tonight, we just have a couple of birthday greetings, starting off with one of my coworkers, Debbie. Happy birthday, Debbie. The queen of the PACU, I'm always glad to see you every time you give report to me, where we catch up on life and your travels, with me afterwards always reminding you to bring back your cardiac monitors. Anyways, Debbie, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. And for my second birthday shout out for today, I have a birthday greeting to Yvonne. Happy birthday, Yvonne. I'm remembering the many times we partied and hung out back when we were living at Wysik. As well as going to Salad King with you, Big Joe, and Andy back when it first reopened. Anyways, Avon, it's been a long time. Hope you're staying safe and healthy at this time. And I'm hoping that you had a great birthday as well. So this morning after my night shift, I Uber carpooled Miss Gunna and Josie for the first time since this incident. Miss G and I stepped out of the car, checked out my right front tire, and you guessed it, I had my first flat tire with the Mini. So I was hoping that I would get home all in one piece without a flat tire this time. But yeah, luckily we were all able to get home safely. But after sleeping only this much after my night shift, editing some live from last week video, then not too long ago dropping off the fiance for her night shift this evening, I am now here at Pearson Airport. At this new place that I've never even heard of before, which is the car cell phone parking lot, where we are now chilling, waiting for my Kuya John to get off his flight from Edmonton. But while we wait here for a little bit, I just have a birthday greeting for you guys today. And this birthday shout out goes to one of my childhood friends, Leah, happy birthday, Leah. I'm remembering when we were younger that you were so talented on the piano and you performed vitamin C graduation during a graduation day in grade eight. Anyways, Leah, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. But anyways, I think my Kuya John just messaged me. So let's go pick him up. Hey, Kuya John. Mm -hmm. He spotted me, eh, with the lift sign. Yep. <laughs> Sweet. So after picking up my Kuya John from Pearson, then driving him over 45 minutes back to his place in Markham, and making sure that he got home safely. I'm enjoying this sopas as well as chicken affrettata and some imported goodies from Edmonton, all packaged up from my Ate Shah, of which, in a sense, is a payment that I'll gladly accept since I drove Kuya John back home from the airport. And by the way, if I'm not mistaken, on the exact same day that I drove Miss Gunna and Josie last time was also the last time that I drove Kuya John to the airport. Weird, eh? 
But anyways, I'm going to thoroughly enjoy that food that my auntie shop prepared for me. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. So after waking up after a six hour nap last night and breaking out the winter jacket for the first time this season, mainly because it's a little bit chilly out, and with the mini even on the dashboard saying it's cold outside, I'm now here in downtown Toronto to pick up the fiance after her night shift this morning. Because you guessed it, it's let your fiance drive Sundays. But unfortunately, right now, she's watching a BTS concert live on her phone, so she won't be doing any driving this morning. And we'll say, I wanna dance, the music's got me going, ain't nothing I can stop how we move, yeah. Let's break up plans and live just like we're golden, rolling like we're dancing fools. We don't need to worry, cause when we fall, we know how to live. Talk, just walk the walk tonight. Cause we don't need permission to dance. Na 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 We don't need permission to dance. Na 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 So after doing that concert thing, taking a quick afternoon nap, then dropping the fiance earlier this evening downtown for a birthday dinner at Momofuku. I decided to go to local winners and managed to see something that caught my eye. A pair of winter gloves that on Amazon would regularly cost over 30 bucks. But after looking at the price tag on this item, I decided to buy them. And did I mention, I also wanted to show them off in front of the winner store that I bought them from. Also, while driving back home after I bought my gloves, I managed to see something that you don't usually see this early on October 24th. A house that actually has their Christmas lights up before Halloween. And it confused me enough that I had to take a U-turn and take another video of this place near St. Clair and Birchmount. But continuing on, I have a couple of birthday shoutouts that I want to share with you guys today. First, we have a birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball friends I have known for a while. Adam! Happy birthday, Adam! I'm remembering playing twos with you long ago when you first started. And to now, seeing you develop into a powerhouse of a player. As well as showcasing some of these highlights that I've had in games with you in the past. Anyways Adam, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. And I'm hoping that you had a great birthday. And my next birthday shout out is actually a belated one. And this one goes to Paul. Happy belated birthday Paul. I'm remembering first meeting you at an FSAT tutoring event. And eventually having you connect me to my now fiance. And I'm always admiring at how much of a good friend you are to her. Looking out for her and her best interests. And on the lighter side, I admire how you are always the life of the party at every gathering that we go to. Anyways, Paul, hope you guys enjoyed your birthday celebration this year. Hope you're staying safe and healthy. And I apologize again for giving you a belated birthday greeting this year. So even though I went to bed late last night, my body just wakes up automatically after it senses that it has had six hours of sleep. So even though I didn't want to get up, I knew I had to because I couldn't go back to sleep. So I got busy by reinstalling the hardware for a picture frame in the bathroom, then hanging the picture and the picture frame to cover some of the holes in the damaged wall there. Next, after she got off her night shift early this morning, I picked up the fiance and her sister and drove them home in a mini carpool. I then went to Service Ontario to renew my health card, but unfortunately it took over two hours waiting in the cold, wind, and rain before I could get seen today. Then, later on in the afternoon, I was able to review some webcams from the Blue Mountain website. Which, as you guys can see from the videos, we made it on the webcams. Also, tonight, I set up a ProLine Plus account, which is a sport betting site where I was able to bet on the Raptors game tonight. And after some dramatic highs and some dramatic lows, as well as a close comeback by the Raps, and with me betting that the Raptors won't lose by more than two points, it was just my luck that tonight the Raptors came up short and lost by three points. So pretty much I did lose my bet. But instead of being upset about it, we'll turn that frown upside down and we'll do some birthday greetings. So first of all, I have a birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends, Krista. Happy birthday, Krista. I'm remembering back in elementary school, you were close friends with Aaron. 
as well as you guys sitting next to me in the grade 8 class when we had it in the basement of St. Therese, back before the Good Shepherd School building was built. Anyways, Krista, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. And next, I have a birthday greeting to one of my titas, Tita Bebeth. Happy birthday, Tita Bebeth. I'm remembering back in the day all the family gatherings that we used to have, as well as celebrating Ronan's birthdays and picnics at Earl Bales Park. Anyways, Tita Bebeth, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Say hi to Tito and to Ronan for me, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday. And on the topic of family and gatherings, I had a video chat with my mom, dad, and my sister last week and checked in with my dad, who looks like he's gaining more strength than he did the previous week. Anyways, I'm hoping to reunite with them at home tomorrow, but you guys will have to tune into next week's episode to see how that visit goes. But yeah, it looks like we've come up to the end of this week's episode. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.